Hello and welcome to Inside Blair Sports, a new program here on InfoFlow where we talk to the students and teachers who are part of Blair Sports. Today I'm very pleased to be joined by two of my colleagues here at BNC, senior Bianca Martinez-Penn, who is a member of our documentary film team, Silver Lens, and a midfielder for the girls' varsity soccer team. I'm also joined by junior Donovan Cox, who is the goalkeeper for the boys' varsity soccer team and a new member of our BNC sports team. Thank you two very much for joining me. So, Bianca, first I want to talk to you about the girls' soccer team. You guys got off to a great start so far this season, beating Northwest 2-1 in your home opener and beating RM, who I believe are the defending state champions, in a preseason tournament. Can you guys just talk about that a little bit and what it means for you guys to start off so well? Yeah, so both with Northwest and with RM, those are both teams that we have never beat in my high school career as a senior. And I know at least with RM, it's been like a long time since we've beat them. So it means a lot to like go out and get the win against teams that we haven't been able to perform our best against um, in the past. So going out there and just showing that we've been making progress um, and that we can now beat these teams that we weren't able to beat before means a lot to us. And Donovan, the boys, they lost their home opener to, they were playing Northwest as well. Um, can you kind of talk about what happened in that game and what you guys are looking to move forward on from then? Um, it was an away game, but it's all the same. Um, I thought that the team, the other team just came out, they were much faster, stronger, and they were definitely taller. Like, um, it seemed like their center backs were almost like 6'5". And um, they played a lot of long balls over the top and they high pressured well. And we weren't used to that because in the preseason we had played a lot of not as good teams like Northwest and so we were used to having plenty of time to just um, knock the ball around in the back and we found ourselves having to play the ball forwards which was not our game plan and that's probably why we lost the game. Yeah. Now you guys are both student athletes can you kind of talk about the difficulties of having to lead that sort of life and you know how you balance schoolwork, uh, being on the field and your own personal life at home? Yeah, I mean, being a student athlete is definitely super difficult. You know, you come to school for eight hours a day and then immediately go to practice for another two hours and then you get home and really all you want to do is like shower, eat and go to bed, but you still have all this homework to do. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely difficult. And then, you know, we practice six days a week. So maintaining social life, it can also be hard, but you know, you do what you got to do for the sport. So Yeah, I, most of, I'm lucky most of my friends are on the soccer team. And it's fun that we all get to hang out almost every day during the season. But then again, like away games, those, those days are very long because we finish school, then we, ha then we have to go home, come back, and then usually they'll provide food. And then we have to bust to the game. And then we have to watch JV play, then play our game. And then by the time we're done with our game, it's already 9.30. And so by the time um, we get home, it's like almost 10. And then usually I'll have like at least two hours of homework to do and then it's 12 a.m. so that's not fun to do. Yeah so outside of the main sports like football and basketball a lot of the other sports here at Blair don't really get as much attendance as a lot of people would like. Why do you guys think that is? Um, I think that's always been like high school culture you go to the football basketball games and also people may not be as informed about the other sports and, and that's what you're trying to change, I guess. Yeah, for sure. I think that like, you know, the sports besides, you know, the like stamp sports for each season definitely don't like get as much hype as all the other teams, which, you know, like he said, it's high school culture that those teams get the most recognition. But the other teams have, uh, especially here, have proven to be like, have good records, have like winning games, exciting games. So yeah. yeah. So after a uh, sexual assault incident last year at Damascus High School, uh, Central Office changed a lot of guidelines surrounding the athletic programs and where coaches can be and where students can be and at what times. Can you guys just kind of talk about that and how that's affected each of your respective teams? Yeah, so definitely for us, uh, we have a team room which, you know, before this year, we go there after school, we hang out, do homework, like eat food before practice because we do have like 45 minutes to an hour before practice um, and now we're not allowed to use that space we really can only like get changed in that space and then go out so it's like kind of 
um, affecting our relationship like as a team because we don't really get to spend like as much time together just hanging out before practice um, and like now you've got play people who are like all over the school outside and you don't really know where people are people are late to practice so it's definitely affected like how the team works you know getting to practice um, our, our Blair boys varsity hasn't had a team room so we used to have study hall which was um, my freshman year we had a teacher and that was fine and we would get our homework done last year um, our coach worked here as the um, career office coordinator I think and um, we would just go to his room every day and we would do our homework get our homework done and then go out to practice but this year since the rules and he doesn't work at the school anymore so as soon as school is over we have 10 minutes to leave campus if we are not off campus there will be uh, disciplinary action and so basically we most of us we have we just bus home and that takes me like 30 minutes and then I'm at my house for 20 minutes and then I bus back so it's not very it's just a big time suck and it's very annoying I would say so yeah yeah all right well thank you two very much for joining me today hopefully we'll see you again on another episode that's all for today for Inside Blair Sports I'm Hunter Welterman